Bonjour, we are today at the Café de Flore, the iconic cafe in Paris. This is an iconic place in the Saint-Germain-des-Prés district, the Poets district. We tried this cafe almost one and a half year ago, just for the pastries. But now we need to try the food, the savory food. And we are with Marie today. Bonjour. Are you ready? Yes, I, I, I'm very hungry. We are seated just next to each other. The menu. It looks like a French, a French elegant book. The Café de Flore is an iconic place in Paris. It's a beautiful cafe that were like the headquarters for many poets and uh, writers, novelists during the 19th, 19th century. And nowadays it's still really famous. It's a bit touristic now, like many tourists love to try the Café de Flore. It's a bit expensive, but not as like a Michelin star restaurant. Like you can eat for 30 euros, I think. It's not expensive, but you have a hot chocolate, 11 euros. That's, that's a lot. 11 euros for a hot chocolate, that's a lot. The Café de Flore is located just next to Les Deux Mago, another poet's cafe. And I already tried it on Instagram for a video. Uh, do you know? Do you know what do you want to eat? She's still struggling with English. I love to hear that. In the menu, they have many, many wines and champagne. And here we have the food. Many like brunch style food, like the salads, the oh, eggs, the sandwiches. Many, many eggs. Many eggs, like the French omelette and all of that. You really like eggs. Oh, yes, in my passion. They do a lot of snacking food. They, they call it snacking, but it's not just snacking. Like you have some French onion soup, some tartare. You wanted to take the ham omelette? Ah, uh, yes, with cheese. Nine euros. The, just the green salad is nine euros. So you should take the other dishes. Oh, la, la. Don't come here if you are not hungry because you will pay for something overpriced. If you want a simple thing, it would be like too much. So take the complex dishes. 16 euros for the haricot vert, the green beans, Dane. I really like the vibe of the Café de Flore and all those uh, classic cafés in Paris because like the waiters still have like uniform so it has the French vibe like usually people talk about like the rude waiters in France but I don't see them here in this cafe when I tried the Café de Flore before everyone was really really happy really welcoming do you know what do you... no, no, I don't know the omelette? the omelette looks, looks really good Jesus. she doesn't know everything looks okay I think all the dishes will have the same quality here it's not a creative gastronomic restaurant it's more like a casual vibe but it's like the usual brasserie which are the type of restaurant that are open all day long with the waiters with the uniform and you can try all the french classics after so much time choosing omelettes with ham and cheese and i took the tartare for 23 euros funny thing about the cafe de flore the waiter told me that they don't do french fries like they don't do french fries tartare but without the french fries i'm heartbroken right now okay the tartare looks really good as they don't do french fries we have some chips with salad and a toast and the tartare is mixed with onions maybe capers this is my omelette with cheese and ham cheese and ham omelette it mm. looks really beautiful it's very fluffy very but it's fluffy. a bit it's a bit expensive for eggs you can see ham and cheese yeah. inside Yum, yum, yum. It looks really nice. It's very good. It's so good. Does it worth the price? Is it okay? I think it's still a bit expensive for an omelette. For a tartare at 23, it's good. It's an okay price. So the tartare is a really famous dish in France. It's probably one of my favorite dish when it's really well made. It's raw beef meat with a lot of seasoning inside. There is two types of cuts for tartare. The one cut with the knife with big chunks. This is the tartare I prefer. But this one is cut with a thinner piece of meat. It's like ground beef. So it can be a bit like too smooth in the mouth. I'm gonna try the tartare with the seasoning inside. And maybe after it, I will add some uh, Worcestershire uh, sauce. Did I say it right? Worcestershire? I hope. Raw beef meat, I promise. It's not just for the dogs. Let's go. The seasoning is really good. It's a bit spicy. It has this little vinegar kick. I'm a bit sad that the beef is ground too thin like that, but I think many people love it this way, so I can't really complain. Many people are afraid to eat raw beef, but many others are eating like raw salmon, raw tuna. In a sushi, nobody cares. But for raw meat, it can be a bit weird when you never tried it, but I promise it's really good. And if you come to Paris, you need to try a good tartare, so you will see if you love this type of meat. Can I try? Of course. Because I never tried it. Okay, it will be our first tartare. Take it, take it. Uh, like this? Yep. Okay. It's a bit spicy at the end. Many seasonings. Mm. 
I love. You see, do it like Marie. Try the tartare. It's really good. There is so many cheese. No. Wow. They are generous, but I at see. this price, I hope. She took so much time to choose. But, but it's a good choice. The Café de Flore is not, it's not the best restaurant in Paris. It's a place, it's an iconic place. You should really try if you come to Paris. You should try it at least once because it's an iconic cafe where all the poets used to gather during the 19th century. I think it's very good to come here for the place, for the, the mood. The vibe is really nice, especially during the day. It's open all day long, so you can grab just a drink, a cafe. It's a beautiful place and it's really welcoming. Usually people are a bit afraid to come to elegant or uh, iconic restaurant in Paris because they think that it will be like too much or too high level. But you feel really at home. I really like the vibe. I'm so surprised. I never thought she would say it like that. Let's eat a tartare. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Marie. The only problem with the tartare is the salad like I'm taking a tartare, not a salad. I talk like an, an annoying person. Like I don't want salad. If I'm taking meat, I want the meat and the French fries. I don't want the elfness. The tartare has a really good quantity because I struggle a little bit to finish everything. And if I struggle to finish a dish, it means the dish is big because I love to eat. I always finish the dish. I even finish other people's dishes. Never waste. I just get inside to see the desserts. You can see them at the entrance. I know that the tartatin is really good, but it's a bit big and I'm not too hungry. I think I'm gonna take the lemon pie. So we have here the lemon pie with Café de Flor written on it. This lemon pie doesn't have any meringue on it because we already know the tarte au citron meringue. So the lemon pie with meringue. And this one doesn't have it. But I think I prefer without the meringue. So you just have the lemon taste. Ooh, I'm getting a small piece. Let's go. It's really, really sweet. It's not uh, really sour. It's not acidic. It's really good. But I like when it's a bit more sour. Like I like the taste of the lemon and I miss it a little bit. But it's still a good one. So Marie, how was the Café de Flore? Tell me your opinion. Oh, it was so good and I really like the mood. Café de Flore, it's a really good place. I like the vibe. It's definitely expensive, but I think it's a place you need to try if you come to Paris because the vibe is cool. It's an iconic cafe. The food is uh, is really nice. Like it's not the best food in Paris. Definitely not the best. I like the vibe, and also the waiters and all the team is really welcoming. They are really kind. It's a place when you want to brainstorm ideas, when you want to write. I see someone just here, here on the terrace, who is writing in a notebook. It's a place where all the family can enjoy lunch. 50 bucks for the omelette de tartare and the lemon pie. It's expensive, but I've seen worse. It's a price in like the big brasserie, a bit touristic. It's the price. So if you want to explore Paris and discover the French way of life, don't forget to subscribe. I post every single day. So see you tomorrow.